Hello everyone and welcome to the first official video for Panda Boo Designs. My name is Brenda Kay and I am the owner of Panda Boo Designs, formerly known as Moments of Quiet. Now, if you are familiar with me and you have been following along or you're in my Facebook group, then you know why the name change. If you don't, then I'll fill you in real quick. I am set to graduate in a couple months with my massage therapy license and Moments of Quiet was originally the name that I had chosen for my massage therapy business and healing arts business. Well, I didn't think I was going to be able to finish school, so I used it for my planner business, my sticker um, shop on Etsy because it works for that too, but then now that I am actually, I was able to go back to school and I'm getting ready to graduate, I really want that name for that business, so yeah, I am rebranding and starting fresh with my shop. I will be opening a brand new shop, the Moments of Quiet shop will go on vacation on October 30th for the foreseeable future. For now, I am opening the brand new shop and it is now called Panda Boo Designs. It is up on Etsy. It is currently on vacation mode, but you can be notified when I open, so definitely go and do that. I will leave the link down below. For this video, and what I thought I would do as an intro to my self and my shop, if you're not familiar with me already, is kind of go through the planners that I am going to be using or at least my anticipated lineup for the rest of the year and into the beginning of 2018. Now, I like to change my planners a lot. I get shiny object syndrome and I like to change things up and do different things and I am a multiple planner person. I will tell you that right off the bat. So, that being said, today's video is going to be about the large hardbound Erin Condren planner. This is my family planner. So this is the appointments that are pertaining to the kids, to Aaron, to myself, um, anything that might be seasonal that we want to do. Those kinds of things all go in here so that we can, it stays open on the dining room table when I'm not organizing things on the dining room table, which I am currently. Um, so that everybody can see what the plans are, who's going where, doing what. Um, and we can just have that overview of what's to come. So I just started using this in October. I received this for my birthday from Aaron and the kids. And just so you know, I have four children. I have a 15 year old boy, a 13 year old girl, an 11 year old girl, and a 19 month old boy. So I have a high schooler, a junior higher, a elementary school, and then the baby. So preschooler. Um, the big, the older three kids are in public school. Well, Ian's in a public school, my oldest. The girls are in a charter school. The baby is being homeschooled because it's preschool. So, um, that's the little rundown and why I need a book just for appointments. <laughs> so, this, um, if I do take this with me, like I'm going to a doctor's appointment tomorrow for Michaela. Then I slip this, I have the neoprene pouch from Erin Condren that is the same pattern and this goes in there and can go in my bag and go with me and I can put in appointments and all that. So let's get into it. That was a lot already. So we, oh, that's not October. So what I did on the side, I thought about putting in the tabs, but then my thought was that because this says going out of that neoprene pouch, I don't want it to get the tabs to get ruined or to tear the pages. So. I put washi on the edge of the month and I will continue to do that as the months go on. I just haven't done it yet. So it makes it a little easier to find. So here is what October looks like and it is busy. Um, I do have a color code system that I tried out for this month. It may change. I'm still working on the colors I want to use, but anything in the light pink is um, anything pertaining with the girls school. So they had spirit week at the beginning of the month. Um, so that's what that is. Anything in the light blue is anything for the high school for Ian. The dark pink or this kind of purpley color 
is um, my school schedule and I also put in in pen because I hadn't printed out the stickers yet. Um, oh, you can't play with my washi, baby. Oh, you can't play with my Thank you. What? Would you like my squishy? Okay. Reese is running around, so. Thank you, little interruption. I wrote this in before I got the stickers for October's um, set up, so. Hey, be careful. Careful with my squishy. So, yeah, this is what October looks like. Um, Mama, it's busy. Mama. Yes, babe. When you have this many people in one household with this many schedules, the month looks a little crazy. So, and it's going to look even crazier as I get into Advent and all of the liturgical things that are coming up. All the gray on the side, those are feast days. Um, for we are Catholic and those are the feast days I have the Sundays here because we're currently in ordinary time um, anything extra that might be family related or something else I put in large so like we did the garlic festival here I still need to put in we're going to the De, De los Muertos festival here so that's how the idea behind this is I threw in <laughs> hiking with my daughter um, so yeah, this is just kind of like the monthly overview. And I also have on the side, if it's not here as a set day, I have written in the rest of the life list from Paper and Glam, written in on the side. No, you can't get up right? You want, well, okay. You want to get up right on my lap? You want to look at my book? Okay. Okay, but you have to stay still, okay? Okay, so now we'll turn, here's, this was the last week of September, I didn't use it then, I waited until the first week of October. So this is how it looks for the first um, week. I kind of like it, at the same time I kind of don't, like, I used the, the um, stickers from my current shop in here because the pen, or the, these were the Erin Condren, and the new Erin Condren markers. I used here lead through so I thought I'd put the stickers down but then I used a ballpoint pen on it anyway so it kind of didn't make any it's sense stuck. but I have all the feast days across the top I have the days in here Mama, for Mama, the life list Mama, Reese. The door. yeah it's a sticker that was Ian's concert yeah. so this is how the first week went Last week I really didn't use it. I just threw in a couple things. Um, I actually did that today. So I didn't really use it then. But here is how I have this week set up. And I am really liking this. Um, some of the stickers are coming up because I moved things around. I had already started filming this video and I just didn't like the way it turned this Mama. week turned out. So I Mama. move things around. Yeah, that's my old battery. That's my other battery. Mommy's got Daddy. No, you don't need the battery. Daddy. Here. You want to hold that? Thank you. Um, so here, I'll go through the week real quick. Yesterday, I had to work on orders all day. So that kind of took my time all day. I went ahead and put it in here. Today, I, I had class last night. It was midterm and potluck. Today, I went grocery shopping this morning. I just went to the ranch market. I did go to our local fries grocery store so I'll need to put that in. Today was pasta day. I did my um, October manicure finally halfway through October. I finally polished my nails again. Mama, so I Mama. put what, baby? It's it's a a I know. Toys. So I put that there. I have my baking list I still need Mama. to put in here. Mama. What? I know. And then I have for the rest of the week I have um, a couple days I need to take Aaron to work in the morning. We have one car, so if I have anything else I need to do, I usually will either borrow another family member's car or I'll just take him to work. And this week, we just decided that I would just take him to work and not have to worry about borrowing a car. So, because Michaela has a doctor's appointment tomorrow morning, um, I'm going to take him to work tomorrow. I have to put in there. Remember to pick him up because that would be bad. Currently Thursday, I have nothing planned. The both girls will be home on Thursday. All the kids are home Thursday, and that's when we have our big 
dinner because that's the one day they are usually home every week. Mama. Unless there's something else going Mama. on, but we are all home on Thursdays Mama. Mama. more often than not. So, Mama. 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 Yeah. So this is when we do our big sit-down dinner um, for the week. Mama. And what? Yeah, it's a truck. I'll get there. I'm not there yet, okay? We're going to talk about Halloween costumes because Halloween's coming up. So, we see who wants to dress as what and what we can come up with. Simple, easy, affordable costumes. Um, Friday is a busy day. I have to take Aaron to work in the morning. I have to pick up the girls from school. Trying to decide if I'm going to stay out on that side of town after I drop Aaron off. Mama. Because the girls' school Mama. is, yes, it's a truck. Stop. Um, it's quite a ways away, so Mama. I have to decide. Mama, it's a car. It's a car, yes. Stop, it's a car. Yes, are you going to tell about my planner? Okay. Yes, it's Yeah, that's my ring. It's a book. Anyway, Michaela has a writing lesson, and I have to pick up the girls at 2.30, or 12.30, so it's like, do I stay out there? Do I come home for like two hours and then go... I haven't decided yet what I'm going to do, but pick up Aaron at 3. He does have an appointment, but I don't usually put it in here because it's a standing appointment. It doesn't usually affect the rest of us, but we're going to plan on going to food truck night. Um, and once a month, our parish does a food truck night, and we have not been in a long time, so we definitely want to go. Saturday is another busy day. I have errands to run in the morning. I'm really working on, except for, with the exception of grocery shopping today, because we needed food in the house. I needed produce. Um, Mama, Mama. I'm trying to... Mama. What? It's a car. I know. I'm trying to transition to where, like, I don't work at all on the weekends, and it's strictly family time and home management type stuff. So I have a bunch of errands to run Saturday morning. I want to make candy apples with the kids Saturday afternoon. Mama, and then we're having a friend Mama, over for our burger Mama, night on Saturday. Mama, what? I know. Sunday we'll go to church and then we'll rest. I, I plan on resting the rest, resting rest. the rest of the day. Yeah. Um, so that's that. And here's a look yeah. ahead to next week. Here are some of those stickers. I put these in here, but like I said, I don't really like it. So I'm probably going to pull yeah. them out. And this is just going to be my paper and glam stickers. Oh, okay. I just decided. Okay. So that brings us to the end Please. of October. Um, we are planning on let's see, going the pumpkin patch on Thursday. This is also pumpkin day, so that works out well. The kids, the girls have a trick or treat event, spaghetti night at their school. We probably won't go um, unless my ex is not going to take them. Then we will go. Um, we may see if we can take them, but. I definitely wanted to put that in there so we know it's coming. Um, Ian has a couple events. He has his first official PSAT. He is a sophomore this year, so it doesn't count, but because he's in the IB program, um, the school will pay for him to take it this year and next year. He took his practice test a month ago and got a pretty good score, so I'll be curious to see if it's any better you know, a month later into the school year. Um, and there's also the college fair on Monday. Yeah. So my school schedule, um, Reese has a doctor's appointment. We're going to have tacos. I plan on us getting tacos out on that Tuesday. Excuse me. Mommy's not done yet. Hey. I'm going to get coffee maybe on the way to the doctor's appointment. Put up. Halloween, set up our Halloween altar for the end, remainder. Mama, Mama. We don't. Yes. Mama. What? Um, not Halloween altar. Dia de los Muertos prayer altar. We started collecting last year um, hand carved sugar skulls for remembrance of family members. So I really want to set that up this year after doing some more research into the tradition because it is a. I live in a very heavily populated. Um, <laughs> A lot of Mexican families in my area, and being Catholic, there's a lot of Mexican Catholic families in my area. Dia de los Muertos is a big thing around here, so 
been doing some research into it and I want to actually set up. I was really inspired last year as a way to remember and honor your family that has gone on before you. And it seemed to bring peace to the kids when we were talking about it because um, they've lost some grandparents and stuff. So we're going to do that. I will refresh my manicure. I probably will end up have, having taken this off before then, but I'll refresh, refresh it this day, hopefully, um, because this is going to be Sunday. I'll set up November and you guys will, I want to do the video for that. So you guys can see that. And then we go to here and we just have candy corn day and Halloween. We're planning on going trick or treating with um, some friends of ours. So that is how I have that set up. I don't have a lot in here yet. I still need, because like I said, I just got this. Um, I've had it for a couple weeks, but I haven't sat down to do much with it at the um, as far as future planning. I do have some events I know I want to put in here, um, like for November, I'm going out of town for the weekend with my girlfriend, so um, I want to make sure that, you know, I go through and put sticky notes in for the kids events, school events that I know that are already on the calendar and those kinds of things, so I'm still working on that. And the other thing I want to get is a, um, Erin Condren makes the half pocket that I want to put in so I can put my paper and glam sheets in here as I'm using them for each month. And yeah, I do the digital paper and glam um, monthly subscription, not subscription, I do the digital stickers each month. So, cause once you buy them, then the next year she updates the files and you get the updates for free. So I am working on buying all of the core glam kits and then I'll start buying the add-on stuff and yeah, we'll see. We'll get that all we'll get that all worked out. But that is my hardbound Erin Condren. I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely give me that thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. I am not entirely sure how quick videos will be going out at the moment. I'm still fleshing out that. But I will be continuing to do this series on um, my planner lineup. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Like I already said, check out the links below and I will talk to you guys in my next video.